Hey guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 367 on this channel and uh, I'm your instructor. My name is Ajay and today I'm going to talk about how to clear the drop downs. Okay, how to clear the drop downs using the VB programming and uh, this is going to be a very special video because I have actually received a couple of questions where you guys actually have you know were facing a problem and the problem is I'm going to directly take you to the Excel uh, so first of all let us discuss about the problem what is the problem now guys I have just actually uploaded a video number 365 on how to create the dynamic drop downs using the offset function you can go and check that out if you think that this is something which is really very you know your area of interest or maybe it is very it can be very useful for you so what we have actually have done in that video is now you see that I have created here two drop downs so if I select anything in this drop down for example I select the south then based on the south whatever the you know activities I have under the south that gets changed here Okay, automatically so you have the beachy sand in the garden and if you just change the drop down to maybe north you would see here you know the north items which are coming here now how to create that using the offset function uh, I, I had actually talked about the offset function you can go and check that video number 365 or you can go and uh, you know check out the excel offset function here I haven't uploaded that video but by the time you would be seeing this video would see here uh, that video okay how to create the drop downs using the offset function right now uh, in this particular video what we are actually going to do is there is a one uh, flaw in this particular uh, stuff you know many people actually even if when I take my online classes uh, you know they also ask me this question so what happened uh, now you know that this drop down actually is changing automatically perfect but the point is once you have selected this north and you get to see here the drop down the point is when you go back and you select any other let's say direction if I select the south this number isn't get deleted this has to be value actually not a number this has to be removed automatically no doubt and the drop down is changing but what if the user doesn't select for example if I select the center until unless I go in this drop down and click you know I will not be able to see the items here I mean uh, so this gives the wrong impression for example if I select the architecture and I just select the east for the time being when I have selected the east and I haven't let's say uh, I forgot to click here or maybe somebody called me and I just got busy there and then forgot to do that you know the change so what actually we are trying to do is that this should actually automatically gets deleted this is the task of this video this, in this video this is what we are going to talk anytime you have anything entered here and you select the museum for example and then the direction the first drop down gets changed by the user before he actually or she goes here in this drop down this should look like this black okay now uh, so we are going to make a uh, three or four lines of a VB program and I'm gonna tell you how you can achieve that now for that uh, you should actually know the uh, you know the basics of the event now what are the VB events in Excel we call them the events right but now what you can do is our oh, we have here so many playlists created you know I have created all these playlists for you what you can do is you can go to the Excel VB event and in the event and first learn the basic basics of the event right yesterday also I talked about how to send the email on every change in Excel this is also something very interesting right uh, in this actually uh, what we have done is that uh, automatically the emails are going if there is some change happening in the Excel sheet right so events actually are the you know they are the predefined conditions you can run your macros whenever that those conditions are going to be met right so what we will do we will go in the visual basic I will not talk about the events much because uh, I have already you know a video on that as I was showing you you can go there and check that out so what you need to do is uh, you go to the sheet one because I'm writing the code in the sheet one you don't have to write the code in the modules right events are never written in the modules neither you should use that this workbook because this workbook refers to the entire workbook so we're gonna click on the sheet one and then you select the worksheet from here and then this event which you know these are all that different different events so you select the change okay and the delete the this selection change you don't require this so I'm going to simply backspace it and uh, let me just remove this let me remove this as well right so this is how your window would look like let me just maximize it 
so here you're going to write the program now what you want to do basically now guys worksheet underscore change event it means that this macro will always run whenever there is a change in the value in this entire sheet okay uh, uh, now for example if I just put the break code here and uh, I just try to tell you for example I'm going to write in the message box and I write here that uh, in the message box I write that uh, uh, value changed for example this is what I have written now you see what will happen if anywhere you select if, if this is your mt7 if you write 77 this macro will fire automatically and you will have this pop-up coming right so any point in time if you have a change in the value whether the value is getting overwritten or maybe a blank cell now you see that i deleted 77 so that means uh, this is actually a change because your cell had some value and you deleted it so the value is now 77 to blank cell which is a zero so that is why this event will run automatically and it is not going to wait for your click okay but what we want to do is we don't want to run this code every time that's the first thing we want to run this code only there is a change happens in the G5 cell. Okay? So what you will do is you will write here if target. I've talked about this target in my yesterday video also. Target is a VB keyword. Target refers to the cell where you want to action. So you're going to write here that if the target address, if the address of the cell is going to be G5, right? We have a G5 and I'm going to put the dollar sign here. I'm going to put the dollar sign here and I put the double quotes here. And then I'm going to write here then. Okay, now what we will say that if the target address is going to be equals to G5, then what could happen then from that target cell offset by one column on the same row, okay, that value should be black. This is what we need to do. Okay, else, else the macro should stop macro should immediately exit because if the cell is not going to be G5, we don't want to do anything as simple as that this is what we are writing here okay now if i just run this let me put the break code here you see that uh, right now you have the south and you have all these you know let's say you have selected the sand the moment you selected the sand this event runs automatically now you know that uh, the changes which you have done that that is done in the h5 and h5 obviously is not equals to this condition so it will go in the edge and exit sir. right nothing will happen now the moment you come and change this to west this event will again run and this time it will capture that what is the basically my address is it the same address or not so guys you know that what the changes which you have done in the drop down that is in the g5 and you can see here that it is exactly to the g5 which we have written so what will happen from this target cell which is g5 one column to the right side you know this is how we use the offset function one of my favorite function actually value on that cell has to be blank so you know that the sand has to be removed and you can see that the sand is removed now the moment the sand is removed see what happens this is so you know interesting the moment the sand actually removed what happened the change happened in the h5 cell because now the h5 is blank previously it was holding a value and the value was what the value was you know uh, whatever i mean the river or rafting uh, I think it was something else beaches I think I don't remember but the value was changed so if the value is changed to the blank now again this will even even will again run so again the condition will check now you know that the change which happened that was in the h5 so obviously you can see here even if you hover your mouse on this target dot address it is actually going to be h5 so we know that h5 is not equal to g5 and if it is not equal to g5 then obviously we don't not interested in doing anything and it goes in the exit sub and guys there we go macro stops very nice now you can come back and you can you know use this drop down again right so how this is going to happen if you just remove the break code everything will run very fast right you see that i selected the reverse the macro definitely you know uh, would have exited ex exited from this because it is actually the h5 the condition did not would have not met there and the macro stopped right so i come back here now this is going to be interesting i change this the north to see what is going to happen in the activities oh wow bingo there we go so you can see that activities actually is showing black and this makes a lot of sense now you can click and you can choose the north right whatever you want to choose perfect and if you choose the center the center gets removed and this is how this is so neat and clean right and and it's hardly i think how many lines we have written one two three four five 
five lines right and uh, so you can also use one thing i mean just in case if you don't want to use the target cell what another line you can use uh well you can also use this line uh because you know your second drop down is always on the edge so you can also write like this h5 dot value equals to blind it's all up to you i mean how you want to do that it's not gonna make any difference for example i have written this h5 now so if i just run this code again just to show you if it is working or not i select the waste you can see that it's working very nice pretty good right so that's how guys uh, what you learned today well i think not only uh, tried to uh, not only uh, you know try to answer this one of the major issue which uh, every time you know users actually feel uh, so uh, they come across this kind of a problem but also you also got to see another video on the event so you know that now i mean if you have watched the previous three videos also uh, should be able to understand now that how powerful the events can be right because you see guys they don't wait for your code they don't they don't wait for the code to run on your click they are self driven and that is the most beautiful thing about it right if you just imagine uh, how if the events are not there let's say if the microsoft hasn't you know if they uh, never introduce this events how are you going to achieve that task because you know you're actually trying to run something on the auto mode right so how will you tell your macro that anytime the changes happens here you got to run some macro in the modules i'm talking about i think it's not feasible that is why these are all the beautiful conditions are written here right there are a lot of other things as well and as the time passes you know the time goes we will explore all these options one by one right so thank you so much for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel as always please subscribe to the channel and it comes soon with some another exciting stuff thank you so much for watching bye bye